Another quick tip today, I'm going to be making the classic dub siren sound effect. You'll no doubt be familiar with this effect. It's used across many different genres. And I was recently doing an edit for my DJ sets of an old Scar track, kind of bringing it into the house realm. And I knew I wanted this effect in there. So I wanted to show you how I made it using just Ableton Stop plugins. So for this tip, I'm going back to the roots and I've got a dub style kind of beat going on here, just from different loops that I've found that I've quickly thrown together. <laughs> It's really nice hearing something that's not house music for a change. And it's a good context for this effect because this is obviously the genre that it came from. So I've got an empty MIDI channel here and I'm going to use operator to do this. You can use pretty much any synth. I like operator because it's really simple to do. And this effect is very, very simple to put together. Now, the first thing I need to do is put a MIDI clip in there. This is going to be a held note in the key of your track. So I'm working in D minor. So I'm going to do a held note on D3. I'm just going to solo that for now. Now by default operator loads with a sine wave and we can choose a different waveform depending on the kind of sound that we're after. I'm going to go for a square waveform. I'm going to go for square eight. Now we want this to go up and down in pitch so I'm actually going to use the LFO. I'm going to turn that on and I'm going to increase the amount to about 50%. I'm going to decrease the rate as well. It's a bit too quick at the moment. So we're starting to get that dub siren kind of sound, but we need some effects on top of it to really kind of bring that out. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put an echo on here. So as you can see there, I'm just kind of playing around with a few of those controls. This is really to taste. The dry wet, you're probably going to want around about 30% maybe. So it's not kind of interfering too much with the original kind of signal. I've got the timing as 1 16th on notes. And then I've got the feedback set to about 90%. All of these things you can kind of change to get different kind of effects. And I might tweak it as we go along. Now, the next thing I want to get in there is a reverb. This is going to give it a really kind of big, wide kind of sound. I just increase that dry wet a little bit. Again, you don't want too much. You want some of that dry signal coming through. Again, it's all to personal taste. I've increased the decay time just so it goes on a little bit longer and then done a low cut on there so because I don't really want to be kind of putting reverb on the bottom end of that. So we've got echo and reverb on there. The next thing I want to do is I want to hear it along with the beat. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to play around with the rate control on the LFO to get different kind of effects. <laughs> In fact, I think I'm going to move it up an octave. I'm going to go to the course control down here and just move this up to two. Now, one thing you'll notice there, when it kind of looped over, that LFO started from scratch. So you kind of get this jump almost. If you turn re-trigger off here, that will stop that from happening. So that's kind of the core effect. But as I mentioned earlier, you can choose a different type of waveform to get different style effects. For example, let's go over to a sine wave. So something a little bit more kind of subtle.
as you can see there, I was kind of tweaking the echo controls and the reverb controls because the sine wave is a lot more subtle, so it kind of gets lost a bit more in the mix. And also I kind of increase that course amount up to three as well, just to kind of give you that upper octave. Sometimes that kind of kicks through the mix a little bit better. Let's try another waveform, maybe a saw wave, for example. <laughs> And there you go, a really simple technique, dead easy to put together, infinitely tweakable with all those different settings, and you can group it all together, save it for later, and then call it up whenever you want it. Right, 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 right.